It's simple and accessible, both two main reasons why Syracuse is VO's best city in the country. I spoke with VO's local operations manager, Paul Cabuto. A little more than a year ago, just about a year ago, with 150 scooters, um, you know, got to test things out, figure everything out through the, uh, the fall and the winter. And then in April, we expanded up to 500 scooters. However, not all Syracuse residents like having the scooters around. They're just being left and laid out in the streets and the, on the sidewalk. It's actually very dangerous um, where they're just being dumped. They're not in one like central location near the bus hub when they first rolled out. But I do think it is kind of a pain in the neck to be walking around the sidewalks and have to step over them and things. But they do look like a lot of fun. <laughs> Getting on a VO scooter is as simple as opening the app on your phone, scanning the scooter, and then riding away. And once you're done riding it, it's easier than ever to get off of it as you can leave it anywhere. You put the kickstand down, reopen up the app on your phone, take a picture of it, and that's all. VO plans to expand even more in Syracuse and even possibly making specific scooters that are only available for SU's campus. From Syracuse, Zach Richter, NCC News.